May, which means fashion's biggest night is finally here. We are so excited you are joining our live from Eastream celebrating the 2023 Met Gala. I'm Erin Rhodes, and I'm thrilled to welcome my fashion enthusiast co-host, Wisdom K. Thank you so much, Erin. It's honestly great to be here with you. Um, you know, they say that New York is a city that never sleeps, but I think tonight is a city that always slays. Oh, there's a lot of slang already happening, oh, yeah. especially right behind us. Now, you are known for offering your amazing fashion advice to your millions of followers on social media. What fashion advice would you offer to any of these celebs who might need it tonight? You know, it's kind of the most cliche advice, but it is true, especially in this situation. Just show your stuff, be yourself. You don't want to trip on those stairs, you know, so just, just be confident, be you. You make it sound so easy to just strut your stuff when there's so many stairs at so that many. Met Gala. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, you guys, we are coming to you live from one of the most luxurious New York City landmarks, the Mark Hotel, where dozens of A-listers have been spending hours getting ready for tonight's big event. This year's Costume Institute exhibition theme is Karl Lagerfeld, a line of beauty, which means the top designers and celebrities will be celebrating the full work and life of Karl Lagerfeld. It's going to be a great night. Wisdom, this is just a night full of fun, full of fashion. Which stars are you hoping to see tonight? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Uh, Simu, I think I'm looking forward to seeing him. Paloma as well. Um, you know, some of my good friends as well are going to be out there. So it's just, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody, if I'm being honest with you. Some of your friends? Well, oh, my yeah. friend Donatella Versace oh, yeah. literally just exited the hotel. I ran into her as she entered the hotel Amazing. when she was about to get ready. I mean, I, that that is a pretty remarkable run-in, I would say. Yeah. So I think I'm done for the night. I'm kidding. <laughs> we are just a few blocks away from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And Wisdom and I, we, we have been on the hunt for some of the stylish celeb sightings. So we've got your first look at those early Mark Hotel exits as they get ready to walk those iconic Met Gala steps. Let's take a peek. Okay, we've got Nye. She is just a spectacle. I mean, that is someone, when you run into her, when you see her in person, you just pause. Absolutely. She and you just take her room. in. You know, she's just such a figure. She is the HBIC, always. I love her. I adore her. What she's wearing is stunning. We know she is such a huge fan of Carl. They, are, they were friends. Close friends, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Next up, we have Penelope Cruz. Okay, Penelope went with white. She's giving bridal vibes. We know that Chanel is just a huge bridal house. I love a Chanel bride. I love this white. Penelope, she wore Chanel in 2019 when she was wearing black and white and she had that like gorgeous little flower right, in the front. Right, yeah. It was so classy, so elegant. She is a big Carl fan and she models it so well. I gotta say, yes, absolutely. She's making this look work. It's really, really nice. I'm a huge Veil fan myself. I wish I could pull off a Veil. Uh, your Veil fan? I feel like you can. The way that you pull off your looks. I'm, I'm gonna look into it. Surprise after us tonight, to do a Veil, okay? Yeah, after tonight, I'll look into it. <laughs> We have Quinta Brunson on the Met Gala steps. Oh no, we have oh, Keith Nicole Urban Kidman. and Nicole Kidman. Okay, very demure. I like the color that she chose. Yeah. And the bow in the back. I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of bows. A lot of bows, yeah. I'm noticing the black and white, obviously, but there's a bit of color here and there, which yeah. I'm appreciating. The sequins, the detailing, the embroidery. Very nice. She and Keith on the carpet. Yeah. It's always a moment. They're always giving love. Oh, and as we're panning out, I'm seeing some feathers. Carl yes, loved too. feathers. True. That is a great way to pay, pay tribute to him. And it seems like she has a long... She has like a long veiled train type yeah, of situation. Kind of back, yeah. Okay, it's great. Oh, the bow! I wish I did a bow today. No, <laughs> I wish I'm... we were bow tie, but I was like, no. You look great in that that Tiffany choker. Okay. Okay, Taika Waititi and Rita Ora are also up there. Are we? Oh, we're taking two. Quinta Brunson. There she is. The detail in the back. More feathers. Really nice this time. The volume, the colors. Oh, there we have a shot. Wow. A long train. We great. love a long train. Oh, she's doing the iconic flower okay and black and white what do we feel i think this is a great look this is one of my favorites so far so good everyone out there trying to get an interview with quinta she is the woman of the moment Absolutely. right now the Absolutely. work that she's done the awards that she took home Amazing. okay taika waititi and rita ora 
Hey, Taika with a buzz head. Say, he's wearing a new trim. Okay, it's a I like it. Yeah. I'm loving Rita with her hair down, wow. the train, yeah. the chiffon, the elegance, the bodice. And the detailing. They look great together as well. These looks are coordinated really nicely. You know what I want I want you to do? You've done capes before. I've done capes. Maybe you could do a long train. I'd be considering it. A chiffon I mean, train? Is, I'm getting so much inspiration from this tonight. I'm honestly taking so a lot good. of this stuff home with me. Also, Taika, that double-breasted yeah. satin with, like, the long tail, the coattail. Okay, we have tennis player Roger Federer. He is one of the co-chairs tonight. I'm very excited to see him. You know, I gotta work on my backhand, and obviously <laughs> he's one of the best to ever do it. So I gotta, I gotta meet up with him after tonight. Okay, so all right. So, me a few so you play more than soccer? You get some tennis in there. I love tennis. I'm a big tennis okay. Player. You know, I saw Roger, Roger Federer live here in NYC for one of the U.S. Opens, and wow. you know, we're practically buds after that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you know, the Met Gala is something that fans look forward to every year, but there's a lot you probably don't know surrounding this high fashion frenzy. As you can see, high fashion frenzy. Here's a little Met Gala 101 for you all at home. Vogue's editor-in-chief, Anna Wintour, who we just saw, has organized and presided over this event since 1995, transforming it into the most beloved celebration of fashion of the year. In addition to Anna, each year, the Met Gala welcomes a new lineup of co-chairs for the night. The 2023 hosts include Penelope Cruz, Michaela Cole, Roger Federer, and Dua Lipa. We saw just a few of them tonight. Oh, there they are. There are shots of them in the past. Wisdom, which of these co-hosts are you most excited to see tonight? Because we've already seen Dua. Roger, it's got, Roger you've that's your guy. Too. Seriously. Okay. Well, we saw Penelope, and I'm excited to see Dua's. Uh, I mean, all of them. Michaela. Oh Dua. yes, absolutely. Dua, she always gives us something yeah. amazing on that carpet. So she's going to be a sight to see. I'm sure of it. Okay. Back to our fun. You may be wondering why the Met Gala happens each year. Well, it's actually a charity fundraiser for the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute. The Met Gala marks the opening of its annual fashion exhibition, and according to Vogue, the event raises more than how many figures do you think? I think more than eight figures a year. Yeah, more than eight figures. You nailed it. That's a lot. This year's exhibit is titled Karl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty, and it will display 150 of his original looks from the designer's time at Balmain, Tattoo, Fendi, Chloe, and Chanel alongside their original sketches. It is going to be quite amazing. It will be. And FYI, the exhibit will be on display from May 5th to July 16th. So if you'd like to see it in person, you better get to NYC ASAP. Yeah, I'm going to have to extend my stay while I'm here. And you live here, so you'll get to see it. <laughs> you guys, we're coming to you live from the Mark Hotel in New York City. Let's take a look outside. There are dozens of fans who have been waiting for this moment all year and all day. Honestly, they've been camped out, ready to catch a glimpse of their favorite celebrities. You know, before the stars hit the steps at the Met Gala, they get a little practice run right here while exiting the Mark Hotel. And we've got your sneak peek at some of the night's most dazzling designs. That's Carly Kloss and her husband, Joshua Kushner. We have our first baby bump reveal of the wow. night. Dripping in pearls and satin. Absolutely luxurious. With the bow, we're seeing a lot of bows we tonight. Are, we are. Ashley Graham, my girl, volume pink. She's looking like a princess. I'm loving her hair. Yeah, Glam did an amazing job. It just fits the whole look so well. She is so darling. That woman, three kids, a husband, and a full-blown career. She does not stop working. Such a big fan. Kihui Kwan out there. This is very Carl. Very Carl. Paying tribute with the glasses, paying tribute with the gloves. <laughs> Unique look.
books tonight. Wisdom and I are noticed. Are you noticing any trends? We are actually. I think I'm noticing a bit of a high collar situation, tailoring for the guys. I'm noticing a lot of bows, definitely a lot of black and white, which I'm a huge fan of, especially. Uh, you nailed it. That is exactly what we're seeing. I feel like we're going to be seeing so much more of that. The stars are continuing to arrive. Let's see who's on those steps looking their Monday best. Emily Ratajkowski, the design, it's amazing. She nailed it with the bow again, the makeup classic. She's giving us vintage Chanel, I feel really like. is, yeah. We don't usually see her in long hair down, and the bangs is so cute. It's, I love the sophistication of it all. Absolutely. I think Lamb is definitely extenuating these looks, really highlighting them and bringing everything together. Gorgeous. Phoebe Bridgers. Love the hair. Phoebe Bridgers, the hair, insane, the pearls. I'm seeing a lot of abstract designs. The composition of a lot of dresses tonight is truly intricate and so gorgeous. Seth Meyer and his wife Alexi. Another bow. Okay. It looks a, like a velvet a bow, bow. Yeah. Let's keep a bow count. Let's How many have count. we had so I far? Think right now we're like four, or five. Maybe? Okay, we're about five bows yeah. in. We'll just pick it up from five. For sure. Okay. Ariana DeBose. Color, oh, the yes. The bows. There's the bows. We'll oh. make it six. Okay, we'll make it six <laughs> bows. All right, I like that. We've got color. Right, I'm loving this. The jewels, such great statement pieces. She is just shining tonight, yes, giving us that smile. I love how her hair is coming down, almost like a necklace, too, as well. There you go. Maude Apatow. Wow. She was leaving the mark earlier. The dress I love. The beautiful she dress. is so darling. We almost got that interview with almost. her. Almost. I was she knew she ran away because she knew I was gonna try and get you for you, Scoop. She had to leave. Olivia Wilde was also here, seen leaving the mark. Wow, this might be one of my favorites, you know. This really is this goddess. One. Right? Wow, this is powerful. Also pretty different from what we've seen so far, especially Very different. with the accessorization in the cuffs. Very nice. She loves having a white moment as well, her white gowns. This silhouette is truly stunning. Oh, yes. Next up, we have Gabrielle Union and hubby Dwayne Wade. I was wondering if they were going to make a date night out of tonight, and they did. Yeah. Look at them. Wow. Serve, slay. There we go. Give us, I feel like they have a little, ch look, she's going to whisper something in his ear. Yeah. So good. I like so how powerful. they are foiling each other with the black and the right. red. Even just through demeanor alone, very strong, very powerful. They I love practice that. at home for oh, sure. Yeah, She's like, I'm going to do this and you're going to do that. <laughs> so good. Okay, we cannot stop checking out these celebs, but it's time to check into the Mark Hotel. That's right. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to get ready to go to the Met Gala? Check out our exclusive behind the scenes tour of what it's really like for these stars to transform into red carpet royalty. Located on New York's iconic Upper East Side, this five-star luxury hotel is just blocks away from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Just before the first Monday in May, dozens of VIP Met Gala guests check into the Mark Hotel, where they spend hours getting primped and pampered. Luckily, there's plenty of space in this high-rise hotel. The Mark Hotel has 106 rooms, 46 suites, and one penthouse. Come along with us to the 16th floor and we'll show you the largest penthouse suite in the United States. It takes a team of stylists, publicists, and hair and makeup artists to prepare a celeb for the Met Gala, so it's good to have a lot of space to spread out. The penthouse suite at the Mark Hotel is more than 10,000 square feet with five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a living room, and more. A rooftop terrace overlooks Central Park and includes a view of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. After getting ready, it's time to head to the gala, which means a scheduled elevator ride to the lobby because not everyone can leave at the same time. Just off the lobby is the Mark Bar, the home of our Live from Eastream, where we'll be in the middle of all the action on fashion's biggest night. After exiting the hotel, celebs will pose for photographers before getting into their car, which will whisk them away to the infamous Met Steps. 
Wisdom, I don't know if you saw, but that was me right there last year channeling royalty. Absolutely. You aced it. <laughs> Did I? Thank you. Coming from you, that means a lot. <laughs> now, one of my favorite features of the Mark Hotel is the Oso Chic restaurant, Caviar Caspia, where you can find an exceptional menu of signature dishes and a boutique with a selection of the finest caviar. So, basically, I know what I'm doing after this live stream. Oh, yeah, okay. we're going to be getting it. It's going right. to be so fresh. There are so many unique looks tonight. Wisdom, what other trends are you noticing? We've been seeing a lot. We have been seeing a lot. I think there is a lot of black and white, like I mentioned earlier, but I'm starting to see a lot more color come in, especially nice little pops of color that are really contrasting as well. I think it's done pretty well. And the veils. The we veils. Just saw some we veils. just saw, I think it was Alton Mason had a nice veil on. I think that might be my new favorite. I don't know. Okay. All right. I just saw Alexa Daddario behind us. Oh, I mean, yes. It really so is a frenzy out there. The stars there are continuing to arrive, so let's take a look at which steps are showing off some hotness right now. All right, there are already so many incredible ensembles this year. We have a very special treat for you all. Are you ready for this treat? I'm ready. Only E! News was invited to attend Vanessa's official Met Gala dress rehearsal on Sunday with the one and only Michael Kors. Our fashion expert, Zana Roberts Rossi, takes us behind the scenes for a very special sneak peek. How did this combination all come about? Michael has been really supportive for you for a very, very long time. Totally. I feel like our first big moment was the Oscars last year. Yes. I was like, he's the best. Are you ready? Oh, um, yes. Are you ready? Let's get it. Are you sure? All right. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Babe, it's incredible. I feel like pulled in in the right places, but also like really comfortable. Great. Talk about any carpet that we do, she'll normally send you an emoji or one word. <laughs> I like that. And like this particular one, she was just like, she just said hot. And then <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, that's gonna be easy. Michael has that, like, he has that in the bag. They're like a melting smiley yes. face mm -hmm. or like the drooling yeah. smiley face. <laughs> Everyone like worked so tirelessly for this moment to make sure that the makeup's perfect, the hair's perfect, the dress, of course, like down to the nails, you know? So it's like you're doing, it's like a wedding day almost, you know? It's like my bar mitzvah, my wedding day, a fashion show, my first prom, all of it rolled into one. It's really, it is that. Someone could be like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. But you could also interpret those feelings as, oh my God, I'm so excited. Yes. I agree. You can yeah. tell that. Yeah. That's great. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> listen to the kids. <laughs> the Met Gala guest list is incredible tonight. Kim Kardashian, Yara Shahidi, Sydney Sweeney, Jennifer Lopez. They're all expected to attend, and that's wow. just to name a few. A and for those who are lucky enough to score an invite, a single ticket reportedly costs more than $30,000. That's yeah. Why. Meanwhile, a table could be yours for the low, low price of two hundred and seventy-five thousand bucks. Yes. Fortunately, not everyone has to pay to attend, as Anime Tour is known to invite up-and-coming designers to the gala. That's very generous of her, seriously. And usually, the celebrities invited specifically to model a designer's work on the carpet don't have to pay either. But the memories they're making on the steps—I mean, they're just absolutely priceless. Oh yeah. How much would you pay to attend? <laughs> I don't know, $30,000, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right, we'll be paying 30K. Or hopefully, you know, we'll just be invited by a designer. Yeah. I, that'll that happen too. to you. I feel like it's happening Absolutely. to you, and it'll, it's coming soon, all right? So after scoring an invite, the bit, someone is out there. I mean, should we take to, to what's happening? Are you guys, should, please show the live shot of what's happening right now, because everyone is going crazy. Do you see who's out there? Did you even get to see? I didn't even get to see. Well, I just we're gonna we're just gonna have to wait and see when they get to the Met Gala. Anyway, back to talking about invites. After scoring an invite to the big night, celebrities and designers begin their months-long collaborations on these fashion works of art and how they can bring the theme to life. This year's dress code is fittingly in honor of Carl, as Lagerfeld designed for so many houses, including Patu, Balmain, Chloe. Fendi and Chanel. So our attendees will have no shortage of 
inspiration. For example, last year's gala called for attendees to dress in gilded glamour as guests paid homage to a transformative era for America. And fans watched as Met Gala darling Blake Lively literally transformed her look into a patinaed princess. This year is sure to be filled with plenty of memorable moments too. Teams have poured hundreds of hours in preparation as everything from the lining to the lashes are perfectly planned. Are my lashes okay? They're perfectly planned. Is my lining good? Perfect. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> we know it takes a village to get ready. So what is one thing that you're most curious about when it comes to preparing for tonight with these celebs? Honestly, there's so much that goes into it. I just wonder how do people have time to eat, you know? Right? I, I mean, I had sushi earlier today, so hopefully that'll just sustain me for the rest of the night. <laughs> but, you know, I am getting a little snacky, so I'm going to need you to maybe get me Happy something. Let's go now. Hey, let's get it. <laughs> You guys, it's the most stylish night of the year, and whether the celebs are rocking feathers or sequins, you know that E is in the center of the fashion frenzy. If you're just tuning into our live from East Stream, we're celebrating the 2023 Met Gala. I'm Erin Lim Rhodes. And I'm Wisdom K. And we're coming to you live from the Mark Hotel, just a few blocks away from the Met. This is one of the fashion hotspots for celebs to get ready. That's right. Let's take a look outside. This is where fashion fans have been lining up, hoping to catch the very first glimpse of stars in gorgeous gowns and stylish suits as they leave for the main event. Wisdom, how about we do a little stargazing? Let's see, who is out there? Yeah, let's take a look. I've been trying to pull out my phone here and there. And yeah. Just like catch some You gotta make sure Anna Wintour's not around. I don't wanna. I mean, I see a white gown behind me. True, true. Sienna Miller was behind us. Jodie Comer was behind us. I think so we have people. footage of it as well. I think Paris Hilton might even just be coming oh, up this I year. Literally, I literally just saw Paris Hilton's pony behind me. Yeah. Oh, I think you guys kind of saw it too. Is she coming? I don't Paris, know. Please. So. There's Sierra, Sienna Miller. We're seeing feathers. Ooh, and the gloves. Her gloves are good. Gloves are Those are Some real car gloves. You wear gloves just like that with the open fingers and everything. They're tight, they're leather, they're really great. I like how she did a sleek type bun. She's just letting her outfit doing the talking. Nice. Jody Comer, uh, some more color. I feel like we are seeing deeper, darker tones. Are, yeah. Very moody. Very classic glam as well. Next up, we have Mindy Kaling. She walked Mindy. up by us a couple times. We yeah. got to see her before she exited. She is amazing. Great. This could be my MVP you of the so? night. Wow. I, I mean, she just one. nailed it. Yeah. This is just so elegant. I'm loving the design. I mean, the beaded detail. Oh, wait. Oh. No, is it Bella oh, Ramsey? I think it's wait, Bella I Ramsey. think I'm changing it up to Bella <laughs> Ramsey. That's my favorite look. Wow. No, you can't steal my favorite look. It's just so good. Though. I know. so fun, it's right, age appropriate. Right. She tied that hair back so we can take a look at just Gorgeous. all the detail of her fit. I feel like Carl would have worn that as well. He Honestly, they made that like 20 sizes bigger. I, that's me. I'm, I'm, you're seeing it to me wearing that. I'll wear it everywhere. We'll make some phone calls for you. Over on the Met steps, the quest for the best dressed of the night is getting fierce as everyone the, from the who's who in the fashion world, they are just bringing their designer A game. That is true. As we take a look at some more arrivals, let us know who you think is nailing this year's theme. Right now we're looking at Naomi Campbell. Wow. Those long, gorgeous tresses. I've been noticing some pinks. You know, there's been a lot of pink when it comes to the color. A lot of pink, the silk, the contrast of the material that she's Absolutely. wearing. Love the textures there. And these outfits are typically designed for the models right. out there. So you know that this is made to perfection just for her. She is striking such a vision. Giselle Boonston. Ooh, she is looking like an angel. Just like a look after look is amazing. Wow. I'm like, wait, is this my new MVP? Ah, uh, it's so tough. It's like you cannot look away. She's giving us a show. She's having so much Seriously, fun. I love She's when the models and celebrities have fun on the steps. It's really nice. It's like you're allowed to let your hair, hair down, no yeah, pun intended, absolutely. and just enjoy yourself. I love when they do that. Kate Moss is also on the carpet. 
How did you guys make it all down? Yes, Kate Moss and fam. Loving it. Also, more pink. I feel like everyone is very delicate tonight. The jewels are clean. The glam is fresh. The silk. I mean, another Absolutely. angel on the carpet. Absolutely. Everything's very, very elegant. Rami Malik steps up to the Met Gala carpet. There he is. White. I love Rami's taste. He is so fashion forward. Absolutely. He makes bold choices. He really has fun with his fashion. Black and white, color blocking. Very, very much. Very elegant. I like his, his demeanor. He's very poised. Yes. That is a man of fashion right there. Suki, Suki Waterhouse and Robert Pattinson have arrived. I'm such a fangirl for Suki. I love, that, I love that she went with the colorful florals yeah. with her design. And nice, and nice bold blush. Is that Bruce Wayne that just <laughs> came up and gave her a hug? That was My the goodness. Bruce Wayne, yeah, okay. Robert, oh, Robert Pattinson, Pattinson power couple right there. <laughs> they look amazing. God, I hope that she gives us a season two of Daisy Jones and the Six. I know it's not her decision to make, but I'm praying for it. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney. She is. The woman we just cannot there. stop wow. talking about. The volume. Incredible. A lot of people are letting their hair down and the volume, letting that hair take up space. Tanya, glam has been insane so far. A lot insane. of bows. Yeah. Oh wait, how many bows? We gotta add to our bow oh my count. Goodness. Um, okay, so we were at six. I think this makes seven. I don't think there was another bow in between. Okay, so we're at about seven bows. Okay. Kiki Palmer. Kiki's in the house. New Mama. Looking amazing. She recently brought her baby to a red carpet, which I loved, and I was Beautiful. hoping that the little baby would be here tonight, but it looks like it's all about Kiki tonight. Love that it's strapless. It's simple, yet it's elegant. You know, it's not even simple. It's detailed. It's gorgeous. Is that Miss Jessica Chastain? Jessica Chastain. Wow. We got a glimpse of her before she hit those steps. And I literally, my jaw dropped. I'm like, oh, that's Jessica Chastain. I know. That blonde is incredible. The blonde hair. Such a great, oh my God. It just looks so great this, on her. It's so complimentary. Right, right. And with this gown, I love that the she's, shades as well. I love that she's wearing the wow. shades. That's pretty gangster. Okay. I love it. This might be my new fave. Just because I wear shades everywhere I go, I can't not put something on my eyes. You, there, yeah, I was going to say, you have your shades still on. You know okay, what I mean? all right. And Margot Robbie. There's Margot. Chanel Gal right there. Barbie has hit the red carpet. Barbie has hit the red carpet, the bodice, it's great. It doesn't take much for Margot Robbie to nail it. Oh yeah. Just She just needs that smile alone, but I'm loving this. I like that she went black. Absolutely, she's got such an infectious smile. Like I'm looking at her and I'm like, I want to smile now. Like, I've never smiled the whole night, but like I want to smile even harder, you know? The chain detail, a little bit of that punk rock that Carl always gives. The theme of tonight's gala is Karl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty, and it's the first time since 2017 that the Met has paid tribute to a specific designer. So how will that influence tonight's fashion? Let's take a look back at Karl's style legacy. This year's Met Gala honors an outspoken designer with a massive legacy in the fashion industry. Karl Lagerfeld died in 2019 at the age of 85, served as the creative director of Chanel for more than 30 years, and designed for brands like Fendi and Balmain despite being a controversial figure within the industry. He also helped put some of the world's fiercest fashion models on the map. Think Linda Evangelista and Claudia Schiffer, and more recently, Cara Delevingne and Bella Hadid. In addition to models, the designer worked with countless celebrities, including Kim Kardashian, Rihanna, and Gwyneth Paltrow. So how could celebs remember his contributions to the fashion world on the red carpet tonight? Perhaps by copying his signature style. We could see stars pay tribute to the icon's uniform, which through the years included leather gloves, dark sunglasses, and tailored white shirts. Celebrities may also choose to go big tonight, as dramatic ball gowns and bridal couture were among the styles he was known to send down the runway.
Though he was also never afraid to make a statement. We could see celebs honor Carl by mirroring the zeitgeist with their fashion choices from politics to pop culture. The artist was also a master of marketing, and that could mean we see his famed logos on the Met carpet in one way or another. These famous interlocking C's became Chanel's logo under Carl's leadership. He also created Fendi's FF logo when he joined the brand in 1965. Finally, something to be prepared for tonight, a potential appearance from the late designer's beloved cat, Chopette. The famously pampered feline was adored by Carl, and the New York Post has reported that the kitty scored an invite to the gala. No word yet on if she's RSVP'd, but Chopette may give a whole new meaning to the term catwalk if she does choose to make an appearance. Aaron, I see you channeling those Chanel vibes tonight. And Thank you gorgeous. so much. I mean, you guys can't see the whole fit, but you know, there's some volume down here, some tool. I got my flowers to pay tribute to Chanel. Amazing. You know, what Carl did, he truly created a lasting impact, and it will live on the way that Chanel has changed. If you look at his first collection, it is still standing the test of time, still classic, still elegant, still so on trend. So I do love Chanel. Okay, you guys, let's take a look at the steps. Irina, thank you so much for being with us. You look stunning. I have to know, how many Met Galas have you attended so far? I kind of lost a count, but I think it was a few. But this one is very special because we're celebrating a coral. And um, for me, it's also very special because I'm wearing a flat shoes tonight. Wait, so, you are wearing flats tonight. I love this. I know, I know, I know. So I'm very excited because People are gonna suffer a little bit, but not me. Not you. Not you. <laughs> that is amazing. And you're gonna wear these flats onto the carpet yes. and enjoy your night and dance the night away. Yes, because I'm wearing archive piece from Yoji Mamoto from 1998. And uh, it's very Yoji to wear like a flat, comfortable shoes and just be, just be you. That is chic right there. And may, I wish I made that move tonight. I can bore you. <laughs> you, should we show you? We're practically the same size. I'm not going to trade, but I don't think you guys are my size. I might be the two. No, I think we're going to trade to yeah. each other. <laughs> <laughs> really quickly, take us behind the scenes on getting ready today, leading up to this moment. What went into it? Getting ready started. I woke up at around, well, I pre ordered a breakfast last night. This is the key because room service takes. A little bit longer, you know, especially today. Uh, so 9 a.m. was my breakfast. I got up at 7.30. I was just like, you know, 
texting away and then went to do my facial with my favorite me Milo's on got a little glow on because I don't wake up like that obviously <laughs> and uh, you know had lunch had coffee and just get into hair and makeup very chill you know like I know there is a lot of you know a lot of like waking up and down by the way I didn't take elevator today really uh, and I'm on the eighth floor. So you got your oh, ex- room number. You got your exercise in. You had the most so stress-free day. That's how you yeah. Be productive. That's impressive. Yeah. So I basically had my workout done by walking up and down the stairs. Okay. Now I have to ask you because I feel like we're we're building a close list right now. What happens after you get to the top of those stairs and you enter the gala? Well, I'm trying to see the exhibit part, of course, but sometimes, you know, I just go directly to a cocktail part. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. That's my girl. You know, if we ever make our way to the top of those stairs tonight, we'll be seeing you, all right? Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Have, Have so much fun. Night. Bye. <laughs> I'm obsessed with her. I think so we Jenner fam, the go-to stars of the Met Gala are known to step out and show off their best looks of the year. We've already seen quite a few fashion all-stars so far, but the best is yet to come. That's right. Let's check back in with those Met steps. Who's just arrived?
We are now with Grace Elizabeth, who is stunning. I'm loving the colors, the volume. Tell us about your look. So Christopher John Rogers created this look um, and he kind of channeled Couture Fendi and with asymmetric different types of fabrics and obviously extremely colorful. And with my makeup, my glam look, I kind of wanted to go a little more hard with it. So we did some cuts. We tied in some pearls for Chanel, for Carl. and. You know, I felt very theatrical today, and I'm sure Carl would approve of that. So we tried to just go for a good glam up. Yeah, yeah everything came together perfectly. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I love Christopher John Rogers. He's like my favorite designer right now. So was this a collaborative experience, or were you just trusting his vision through and through? I just trusted his vision. Um, you know, Vogue put us on together and was like, you know, what do you think about this? I thought the dress was amazing, and when I met him, he's such a sweet, centered person. Beautiful idea. His show that he just had was incredible. I thought all the looks were just stunning. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with that man. <laughs> now, you're no stranger to the catwalk and to the modeling world. Wisdom, also a model here. That's true. So we were talking and we were wondering, what is more nerve wracking, walking outside of this hotel or hitting a catwalk? Walking outside of this hotel, hands down. Like yeah. catwalk, I'm in my element. Here, it's like, oh no, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. You know, on a runway, although it seems chaotic, it's very much controlled. <laughs> Now, if you let loose inside the gala and get to all the dancing, what is the plan to maintaining the look? This is like a helmet. This is <laughs> gel down. Like in about 30 minutes when it's fully dry, you can knock on my hair and you'll hear a knock back. Wow. So I am good for the next month. You guys are going to see me wearing these pearls. Okay. All right. Well, we will not be knocking on that helmet. We got to get you out of there looking this flawless, okay? So have so much fun today. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you for night. having me. For sure. Let's just talk to you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
are seeing Jared Leto literally transform alive before our eyes. Oh if you saw, he was dressed up as a cat. A which giant cat. Was yeah. a giant show pet. I think that's what he was paying homage to. Oh yeah! Wow. There we go. So we the, saw uh, homage literally on that. Yeah, one. we haven't seen show pet actually here yet, but you know we got the Jared Leto show pet. We did, we did. And the transformation that is happening. I'm loving to see this right now. Jared is breaking a sweat. Yeah. I'm loving. <laughs> I'm just loving the eyeshadow. It is matching the detail of his fit. The cape. This is very on brand for him. This is so Jared Leto. If you so remember Jared. when Jared Leto brought Sorry, Jared, Leto, yeah. Jared Leto. There he is right there. I'm a big Jared Leto fan, a big 30 Seconds to Mars fan. Wow. We're hearing in our ear that that's Lil Nas X. Wow. Wow, just bedazzled. Okay, I need to hear what you think. This? Isn't that a bodysuit, or did they come and spray paint him and bedazzle no, think, him? What do you think? I think they did like a Doja Cat situation. I okay. think that's what's going on here. Yeah, okay. think that's his real body. They just trying to spray paint him, like you said, put the jewels on. He's wow. he's working this. This is a show. If anyone knows how to work a carpet, it's Lil Nas X. Yeah. And the, oh my gosh, the gems. I mean, I just want to know how many crystals are on that body. That's the question right now, yeah. Is Lil Nas breathing well? What's going on? <laughs> Like, a, I need to know. I house. need to know the BTS, the oh, yeah, hours honestly. put into this. this wow. Honestly, I wish I was bold enough to win the heels. Wow. My gosh. Well, he's definitely very mobile. Uh, he'll have no issues dancing tonight. Very mobile. Wow. And wow. a look the back at it. Yeah, good. Is this a fit we could see on your TikTok soon? You know what? I don't want to get my videos taken down, um, so I'll, I'll give you a no. If we see just the front, it could be a yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, maybe. I'm already seeing it now. The internet is going to be set ablaze. Oh yes. With that, people trying to recreate this look. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. kind of want to somehow recreate it. Although I don't know if I have the time and energy, but I absolutely love it. Yeah, that, this has got to be one of those that definitely took the longest to do. Simu, I am so happy you are joining us, looking dapper as ever. It's so lovely to be here. You look fantastic. You both do. Thank you, thank you. Not as good as you. You're really channeling Carl with this look. This is yeah. amazing. Can I, you tell us about it? Well, look, you know, I know every year people go, people ignore the theme or they take it loosely. I just, you know, I love, we love dressing up. Yeah. 
We love being on theme, and this is such an homage to Carl. So many of his um, aesthetic um, idiosyncrasies, his iconic aesthetic, um, the gloves, the you know high collar. We, we, we wanted to show all of that, so I'm very, very happy. How many months of planning and prep went into your look tonight? Oh my God, so many, so many. We planned to. We, Actually, everything came together pretty pretty last second for me. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it, and then it's one of those situations where they're like, do you want to go to the Met? And I'm like, kind of, yeah. Okay. Well, the only thing stopping you from coming here would probably be filming. I don't know if it entails Marvel. <laughs> you want to dish on that? Yeah, where are the rings at? Come on. Uh, come on. I, uh, you know, not not with this outfit, you know. Um, <laughs> no, we're really, I mean, we're really excited for what's, for what's coming up. Um, obviously, I've got another movie, Barbie, that's premiering soon, so I hope people come out and watch that when it comes out this uh, this summer. And that's really kind of been taking up my time. I mean, Barbie is going to be such an incredible, world-shattering movie. I think a lot of people are really, really excited about it. And, and it I finally is. get to say that I play Ken. That's I wasn't true. able to do that for like... Ken Lagerfeld, everyone. Yo, <laughs> yo, Ken, I'm loving that. I mean, stepping into that world must have been so fun, working with Margot and just Ryan. Like, what was that experience like? Yeah, I mean, it's just such an all-star uh, cast and, and, of course, an extremely generous generationally talented director with Greta Gerwig. Um, it was honestly just the most amazing time because, you know, more more than they are talented, you know, artists, they're wonderful people to work with. And, and I genuinely, genuinely mean that. Um, it was just such a fun time with friends and uh, now we get to kind of show the world. It's also, you know, like the, it was such a vibrant set to be on. Um, so it's just pink and bright and fun and there's lots of dancing every day. I mean, uh, we could all dream to be on sets like that. Uh, yes. I mean, there's going to be a lot of dancing tonight, hopefully, for you. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. yeah. Not in this suit. Not oh, in this oh, do we have an outfit change? Is it, will there be an outfit change at the top of the set? There may be a little outfit change, not at the top of the steps, but, but for the after party, for sure, when the, when the dance is going to go down. Now, we know that there's a really tight no phone policy or no social media policy, but who is worth busting the rule for? <laughs> For, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty trigger happy dude when it comes to social media. If I see, if I see Justin Bieber, my Canadian brother, I'm, I'm definitely we're gonna we're gonna grab a selfie and a win tour, um, obviously. Uh, I, 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 uh, certain basketball, I don't know, okay. I don't know. There's a lot. There's lots. Well, look, I really hope and pray that you break those rules tonight. Okay. Thank you. Have so much fun. Rules are meant to be broken. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> Have fun tonight. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, guys. Sure. <laughs> We see a fresh haircut on the carpet with wow. um, Florence Pugh. Stunning. How do we feel about that piece? I love it. And talk about dedication. I feel like she probably cut her hair for this particular look. I it works so absolutely well. think so because we just saw her on another red carpet yeah. and she had all of her hair. Unless that was a wig, but I don't know. This looks like a very fresh haircut. Yeah. I'm loving it. The black, the white. Looks for another bow. Another bow. Our that bow makes count. Seven or eight. Okay, I'm thinking eight. It's eight. Yeah. And that train, train leading right into the pelt Beckhams, Brooklyn and Nicola. They look great. We spoke to them not long ago and they were just talking about their excitement for being here. The Marrieds, they're making some, they're making a date night out of it. We've oh, seen yeah. quite a few dates Absolutely. on this carpet. Absolutely. I'm really liking Brooklyn's neckwear. Yeah. We got pearls, we got diamonds. You know what it is? Because I saw him the other night, I told him, you know, give him a few hits. Oh, you did? Did you tips. give him some tips? Oh, yeah. did you tell The Wisdom K playbook. Okay. Putting that shirt down, accessorize. We got Barry in here, looking very, very dapper. Very Keegan, I love the color. Yeah. I feel like this is so Carl, the design. <laughs> it's very bold, it's also very clean. Yeah. It looks classy. It looks like it's double breasted. I love the pendant. We got to see Barry before he hit these steps. He was in this Mark lobby with us waiting for his ride. 
It is really fun to just see all of the behind the scenes leading yeah. up to this moment. There's a lot of waiting involved in the whole process. Even now, they're, they're still waiting before they get on the they're action waiting. steps and go up and everything. Okay, we're seeing the back. And the big reveal! Oh, Serena yes. Williams. The pearls. I need to know the pearl count. Right? I made a pearl counter as well. The pearl count, right? The headwear. I almost went with a headband. I didn't. I don't fully regret it because I'm loving my flowers because I feel like that is a good tribute to Chanel. But her headpiece, it is so great with hubby Alexis there. The tool, we've seen so much tool. The black and white though, I mean, does anything else say Chanel, like a great classic black and white fit? <laughs> Lily James, giving us a good look back at it moment. Bose, choker, sleek, sophisticated. Yes, give us more Serena and Alexis. I really want to know where is Olympia? And I can't wait for her to make her debut on this red carpet. <laughs> it's really, you know, this theme, it's it's very classic, it's very elegant, like we've been saying, and it's hard to, to miss this oh, yeah, theme, wouldn't absolutely. you say? Yeah, I think so. You know, I was discussing it earlier, and I mean, it's like, it's a theme that's very, once I heard it, I was like, okay, I know what's gonna happen, but yet people still managed to make it very unique, right? Each designer, the styling was still very unique all throughout. I mean, it was still done very well. Yeah, I feel like everyone is doing a great job just staying on theme. And you know, this is a carpet where some people go outside of the lines. They yeah. like to break the little rules. Yeah, yeah. But people are really just wanting to stay true to it. Really pay homage. Exactly. I feel like Carl is looking down, he's smiling, and he is happy with what we are seeing. Oh, yeah. Okay, the detail at the bottom of her dress. Yes, Serena, slay, serve. Wow. I'm hearing Mindy Kaling is next. We saw a first glimpse of her leaving the Mark Hotel and it sounds like she has arrived at the Met Steps. What do you think about this carpet, by the way? The it's interesting. It's funky. Yeah. It's not, In a good way. It's not what we usually see, yeah, yeah. but I like it. Me too. There's Mindy Kaling. Oh my gosh, she is still my favorite. I mean, I know I've had a lot of favorites tonight, yeah. but it's just so princess-like. She is demure, Mindy Kaling. I, I still think my favorite, my MVP still has to be Olivia Wilde. I really think I'm gonna switch it back to Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde, yeah. you're switching it up on me. Back again, yeah. My top two right now, Mindy Kaling, mm -hmm. Bella Ramsey. Mm -hmm. Mindy Kaling has been making such incredible fashion choices in general That's lately. True. So I'm loving to see what she wore tonight. I was really anticipating to see this look. So she really took my breath away. She's stunning. The long hair tied back, darling. It's always fun to watch the celebs posing as well. Yeah. I learn a lot from just watching. Absolutely.
I mean, I literally just saw you like, what, two days ago? Yeah, Every time I see her, she looks amazing. Like, who are you wearing tonight? Talk to us about your look. Thank you. Tonight I'm wearing Robert Wynn. Um, I'm carrying this IWC watch, as well as this one. Oh my gosh. Um, I did a little champagne moment, or a little yeah. red wine moment, and uh, uh, I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing, yes, it's like you are dripping in red wine, but like so elegantly. Yeah. It's actually really funny because I'm 19, so I can't drink it, but I can appreciate <laughs> the aesthetic from afar. <laughs> I wish every time I spill something on myself, it ended up like this. No, Unfortunately, right? it just, just doesn't. So this is really nice. Thank you so much. You have quite the team here. How are you preparing to walk up those steps? Um, you know, I've been training my whole life for this moment. <laughs> uh, lots of hours of training, lots of time in the gym, balance work, you know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> and how about this morning? What was the what was the whole process of getting to this moment? So I actually brought my favorite team from China over with me. So we've been working together all summer. And um, yeah, we just have an amazing rapport. They know what I like and couldn't wait to show out tonight. Hopefully you guys are excited about the look. You sure. are fabulous. I hope you have so much fun tonight. Thank you for stopping by. Sure. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Eileen Goo, everyone. Wow.
We are reunited with Jeremy Scott back at the Mark Hotel. I saw you last year. It is so good to see you this year. Tell me about your amazing looks, you guys. Well, I wanted to bring my muse and also Carl's muse, Devin Aoki. She's never been to the Met Gala and she's on the cover of American Vogue for the first time. So this is a very exciting moment. And I wanted to keep the color palette in black and white, which is very iconically Carl. And I did a nod to my iconic wings and Devin wore a winged piece from my show the last time Carl and Devin and I were all together. So it's a bit of a sentimental moment for the three of us in that respect. We love that. Devin, your first time on those Met steps. Have you been practicing walking up and down some steps? <laughs> well, in this dress, you know, it's a little tight on the bottom. So a little bit, a little bit. But this is my first year initiation. I couldn't be more excited to be here with Jeremy, my longtime best friend and someone who really shared uh, the Carl connection with me because we were together around the same time. Um, and it's just a huge honor to be here to celebrate him, to celebrate Carl, who meant so much to both of us and to be here together. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a terrific night. You guys are already nailing the assignment. Absolutely. The wings and the lapels, it's brilliant, really honestly. Thank you. Thank you. Now, once you guys get up those Met steps, what's happening? I got to know what happens inside you guys. Pandemonium. I mean, <laughs> that's when you can let it out a little bit. Right. I'm making a beeline to the donuts. You know, <laughs> maybe have a drink. Do a lot of dancing tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, well, we want to make sure you guys get there in this condition. So we'll have so much fun tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Fun night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
right, guys, that's a wrap on fashion's biggest night. Thank you for watching our live from Eastream celebrating the 2023 Met Gala. I'm Erin Limrose, and I want to thank all of our guests for joining us today. Wisdom, thank you so much for joining me. You're the absolute best. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. Thank you so much, Erin. It was an absolute hoot. Did you have fun? Oh, the best time with you. And, Great. well, you're going to be performing that's soon, true. so we got to go. I got to go. There's no watch, but I got to go. <laughs> See you guys. All right, you guys, be sure to keep it locked.